Hey TBC Kindle, I'm Brother Tyler and we're here again today with another Kindle Daily Devotional. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about instant gratification and I'm going to read from Genesis 25 verses 29 through 34. And Jacob sawed pottage and Esau came from the field and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he sware unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. So here we see <clears throat> a really uh, famous story in the life of Isaac and Jacob and Esau. So this is after <clears throat> Jacob and Esau have grown up quite a bit uh, because just a few verses prior, uh, these two twins are born and it just kind of skips a whole bunch of time and it says, and Esau was a cunning hunter and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. So we've got Esau, this really hairy uh, hunter, and Jacob, this just kind of normal guy that just does whatever he does. <clears throat> and it says that he was making beans. It says that Jacob was making pottage, or he's, he's pretty much making bean soup. And Esau comes in, and he's really hungry. It says that he's faint, and he describes himself as being at the point to die. Now, we don't know how long he's been in the fields, but... <clears throat> it's very possible that he has went a couple days without eating anything. He was probably hunting, trying to find food like venison, which is a type of uh, meat. But what's so interesting is that Esau was willing to sell his birthright to Jacob just for a bowl of bean soup. He didn't even ask for the whole for the whole thing. He just gave him a bowl and bread, and that's it. So he ate and drank and he gave Jacob his birthright. He swore to Jacob that he would have his birthright. And that's what's so peculiar is why on earth would you trade something that has such deep value for something that's going to be gone in an instant? Think about that for a second. Esau sold his birthright. Now the, the firstborn in these times always had this <clears throat> birthright that was promised to them after the passing of their father, they would get a, the largest portion of <clears throat> their father's wealth, which is called the birthright. But here, Jacob tricked Esau into selling him his birthright for a bowl of bean soup. Now, that sounds ridiculous, but I think... Sometimes we, we are guilty of the same sort of thing. We trade things that have an eternal value for things that have just a temporary material value. So I want to challenge you guys today to make sure you're spending time taking care of those things that have eternal value. You know, I talk about a lot how, you know, you guys need to develop the habits of prayer and Bible reading every day because if you don't, there's going to be a whole lot of things that happen in life. And without having that covering over your life, without having that deep foundation rooted inside, you're just going to crumble. And it's, and it's not going to turn out very well. But if you're close to God, he's going to take care of you. So I want to give you this challenge and encouragement to keep reading your Bibles and praying and keep seeking the face of God. Because if you pay attention to those things that are of eternal value, God will then start to trust you with other things. But you have to keep his kingdom first. You have to seek his face above everything else. You have to seek his kingdom first. So I hope I gave you a challenge, and I, and I hope I encouraged and blessed you today. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. God bless.